Today we're going to read some A books. See the big A? Now I can't read the entire books because that would be violating copyright issues, but I can read some. This one is called Animals Should Definitely Not Wear Clothing. No, animals should not wear clothing. No, and it's written by Judy Barrett. Animals should definitely not wear clothing. No, because it would be disastrous for a porcupine. Oh no, the porcupine has an outfit on and it's poking through. Yeah, with all those spikes. How can the porcupine wear something with all those spikes? That's not right. Because a camel might wear it in the wrong places. <laughs> the camel has little hats on the humps. <laughs> it's supposed to be on the head. The hat's supposed to be on the head. Because a snake would lose it. Oh yeah, he's going right out of those pants. It is not staying on the snake at all. <laughs> this is also a good chance to start reading your ABC books. So if you have any good ABC books, this one is by Dr. Seuss. You can get those out. <gasps> big A. There's the big A. Little A. There's the little A. <gasps> what begins with A? What begins with A? Apple begins with A. Astronaut. Airplane. Apricot. So many A words. <gasps> Auntie Annie's. Aunt Annie's alligator. Aunt Annie's alligator. A, A, A. Look, there must be the Aunt Annie, and she's on an alligator. All good A words. A for Aunt, A for Annie, and A for alligator. A, A, A. Amelia Bedelia is super fun. This is the old fashioned Amelia Bedelia's, and then they have newer, younger Amelia Bedelia's, which are all fun books you can get at the library. They're by Parrish. Let's read some. Have a good day, said Mr. Rogers, and you help your aunt, Effie Lou. I will, said Effie Lou. I'll come back for you late this afternoon, said Mr. Rogers. He drove off. What a grand house, said Effie Lou. Miss Emma is a grand woman, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the door and knocked. Come in, called Miss Emma. Amelia Bedelia and Effie Lou went inside. I am glad to see you, said Miss Emma. Sumter is sick and my garden is a mess. Don't you fret, said Amelia Bedelia. We'll, we will take care of that. Just tell us what to do. First, said Miss Emma, weed the garden. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Is there anything else? Yes, said Miss Emma, but go ahead and start before the sun gets hot. Come on, Effie Lou, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's get busy. They went to the garden. It does have a lot of weeds, said Effie Lou. She started to pull one. Stop, said Amelia Bedelia. What are you doing? Trying to get the weeds out of the garden, said Effie Lou. What does Amelia Bedelia think that's supposed to be how you weed. Oh, she's so funny. Okay. This is Amelia Bedelia sleeps over. So you can see this is younger kid Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia was excited. Tonight was her very first sleepover. All the girls in her class were going to Rose's house for a slumber party. Yay! Amelia Bedelia and her mother drove to Rose's house. Is a slumber party fun, asked Amelia Bedelia, because sleeping is boring. <gasps> I like sleeping. You might not sleep much, said her mother. You will play, eat pizza, paint nails. <gasps> do we paint the nails and then hammer them in, asked Amelia Bedelia, or do we hammer them first? <gasps> That's so funny. She thinks it's these nails, but really it's these nails you paint. This book is called Arthur's First Sleepover by Mark Brown. And Arthur also has a TV show, so kids might like him. Arthur was getting ready for his first sleepover. Another sleepover. Everyone's having sleepovers. 
sleepovers. Do you ever have sleepovers with grandmas or aunts or uncles? It isn't until Saturday called Mother, come in and eat your breakfast. Father laughed while he read the paper. Some man in town says he saw a spaceship, he chuckled. Probably the same man who thinks he saw Elvis at the mall, joked Mother. I don't believe an alien, said Arthur. Well, the National Requirer does, said D.W., and they'll pay a lot of money for a picture of one. <sighs> you think he's going to get a picture of an alien? Maybe. This one's called Abby Yo-Yo. It's by Pete Seeger. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who played the ukulele. Around town, he'd go clink, clonk, clonk, clink, clonk. The grown-ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a magician. He had a magic wand. He'd go zoop, zoop, and make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'd come up to someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something. Zoop! The glass disappears! <gasps> oh no! The glass disappears when she's going to drink something. Someone doing a hard job at work? Zit, zit, zit! Up comes the father with his magic wand. Zoop! No saw! <gasps> that would be so magical. You're busy coloring and all of a sudden, no crayon! What would that be like? This last book is called Angelina on Stage. There's Angelina. This also has a TV show, so your kids might know of Angelina. There they are. Angela's cousin Henry liked to go to her ballet lessons at Miss Lily's and join in the dancing. Henry always followed close behind Angelina copying her graceful steps, but he wiggled and wobbled and didn't look like a ballet dancer at all. Oh, there they are with their tutus. This one's blue. This one's yellow. What color is that one? Yeah, green. Good job. After each class, Angelina showed Henry the right way to do plies and arabesques and twirls. But Henry kept on dancing in his own funny way. I'm going to stop reading now. You can go dance if you want and try your twirls. <laughs> Hope you like the books. Thank you.